everyone. I hope everyone is doing safe and healthy during this quarantine time. Um, so today I just wanted to share this classic black smoky eye look that I do, which goes well with literally anything where you want to wear a little bit heavier makeup, whether that be going out or any formal events. I think this look goes well with a lot of different colors because it is black. Um, some of my favorite colors to pair it with when I'm wearing these outfits is gray for sure. Uh, maroon looks really good, olive green, even gold. So those are a couple of suggestions if you want to pair this with a specific color outfit. Um, also a quick disclaimer, I think that a lot of people think that black eyeshadow can be a bit tricky, but honestly, as long as you have fun with it, blend it out a little bit here and there, and just remember that there is nothing good lashes, eyeliner, and good eyebrows can't make look good. Um, and the best part about this look is it only uses three eyeshadows and you can literally find these in almost any palette. I personally use the Lorac Pro palette, but these are not very difficult colors to find. So hopefully you're able to recreate this look easily and have fun with it. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing here is taking a big fluffy brush and dipping it into the color Garnet. This is sort of a sheen dark maroon color and I think it brings the perfect amount of dimension to the crease since it's not a matte but our black will be a matte. Then you want to take a clean blending brush and just blend out any harsh edges. Next, take a flat shader brush and dip into the color black. I've not wet my brush this time since we want to be able to blend that into the red easily. Here you see me starting to carve out the shape of the eye look that I want and I'm also just wiping out any fallout with a clean big fluffy brush. So as you can see, this whole look is just a blending game between that matte black and that sheeny maroon color. Now I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and blending the black into the red. It's okay if you can see um, a little bit of that black wipe away. That's all right for now. We will go back in with the black and make it opaque once again later. Next, you want to go in with a smaller blending brush for more precision. Mine is slightly more narrower and deposit that same red garnet color back into your crease and start blending the two seamlessly together once more. Yup, you guessed it. Next, go in with that same black color and this time I did wet my flat shader brush and again reapply that to get that really dark um, opaque color on your lid again. And again, back with that small blending brush and garnet into the crease. Now you see me go in with our third and final color from the palette, which is Nude. And I'm just popping that on my brow bone for some highlight. I also go in again with that narrow blending brush and take a little bit more of garnet to blend out the black and the red. And my camera cut off at this part, but I also pop that Nude in my inner corner for some highlight. I'm then going in with my Hourglass Veil Primer in my T-Zone to prep that for the foundation. And for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the color 235 Pure Beige. Followed by my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 25 Medium Moyen. Next, I'm just blending out that concealer and setting it with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Like I said before, I love this powder. You get so much of it for the price you pay and it actually works. Also, don't be afraid if your makeup looks a little scary right now. It's very normal since we're putting this heavy black shadow on bare skin, but trust me, it will all pull together at the end. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. cream contour palette and just contouring my face with the medium brown color. And after that comes the most exciting part, which is highlighter. I am using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Bloom Time. And I'm pretty much putting this all over my face to make it sparkly and pretty and glowy. 
All right, so the next step, in my opinion, really pulls your eyes together. I am gonna go ahead and put shadow on my lower lash line using those same three colors with nude on my inner lower lash line and then blending that with the garnet color and ending it with the black. And like I said earlier, even if your makeup isn't the most perfect, just pop on some lashes, mascara, and liner, and I promise the look will come together. So that's just what I've done, and I'm then going in with the last step of this look, which is using my NARS lip pigment in the color Get It On, and just putting that all over my lips, and we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Here is a random clip of me trying to act cool and then breaking character. And don't forget to subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments below. Bye!